Well, the lighting is shit in here tonight. So, hey, beer of the week. And we're out of Oregon, and we're finally in Idaho beers. And this one is an IPA from a company called Crooked Fence. The name of this one is Hop Notion. Um, so far, the artistry looks good. Now let's see how it happens with this one. Um, I was going to mix it up with the glass. All right, I mixed up with the glasses this time, uh, just in case of somebody getting offended over poison ivy. But so we're doing a regular dollar store mug. Absolutely sexy, right? Okay. Since I didn't pop the cap yet, let's do that now. Oh. That one's a toughie right there. Yeah. And for color, we have, ah, it is in fact a very beautiful little cloudy. That might just be the head, which means this one's going to be have a really thick head. Um, but it has good amber color, a little more golden than the last IPA we tried. Now, um, let's try for hop flavors and floral scents, but I can't, <laughs> I can't do the floral because I just, I can't smell it. No scents, right? That was a lot smoother. You know, I'm actually finding a lot of these craft beers to be a lot smoother than your run-of-the-mill uh, microbrews. Which they call themselves microbrews, even though that's not technically what they are. Um, like your Coors, they call it a banquet beer. Technically, that's considered a microbrew, and a microbrew only. The only difference is the amount in which they produce. Um, be it a hundred thousand barrels, or a hundred million barrels. A microbrew typically ends. Um, Last time I researched it, at a hundred thousand barrels, which sounds like a lot, but really it's not. Um, but back to what I was saying, I'm finding a lot of these uh, crafted beers. These these are microbrews. Crafted beers, they're a little more pricey, but so much worth the price because. I can actually drink this and not think, um, wow, this is a, has a lot of carbonation. I'm choking trying to drink this. Where not all of them have a great of super great flavor, but they are a more um, refreshing, more crisp, more smooth. So you're not your throat isn't upset that you're drinking it, and your tummy doesn't get all bubbly. So let's try another drink. Uh. Now for being an IPA, and it's at I think 85 IBUs. No, 65 IBUs, that's why. It is less bitter, um, which I prefer personally. So I'm gonna rate that as a three on the hop level, and it blends very nicely with the malt. Um, being a light malt, as we talked about in the last episode, it's not a heavy roast because it is an IPA, a pale ale. And that's what they're meant for is the more hop flavor that blends with your malt, but is still your main component. Um, and so let's see here. That's the gen general warning or government warning. That's not going to give me the answers I want. Neither is that. Um, brewed and bottled in Crooked Fence, Idaho, or Brewing Company, Idaho, please recycle. This one doesn't have a story on it. That's unfortunate. Um, let's test its, uh, ability for, um, oh, let's, let's finish this first. Let's, let's finish this golden deliciousness. I can already say this is going to rate pretty high on the list. I am not disappointed by this IPA, which is awesome. 
one more drink. But I guess we can mark off chugability. Because it's not super chuggable. But I can keep drinking it. So let's test the. Uh, let me adjust this real quick. Adjust this. Oh, shit. Ah. And my thing fell apart. So let's make sure this nice, nice heavy head on it. Settled, so let's find out. And it's holding the cap. Awesome. Um, son of a bitch. Hold on, hold on. We're having some technical difficulties. There we go. Sorry, my uh, tripod, which is made of Legos. See that? Yeah. Keeps falling apart. And every episode, it falls apart just a little bit more. I mean, this part right here, which is to uh, be able to change the angle of it for my other videos, just fell the fuck off. So, <clears throat> let me get Fish's cap out. See? It's still on top. Um, put in my teacup. I was drinking tea before this, um, but so let's go down my my list. Malt or sorry, hops first. I think it was just right. <laughs> Maybe a little extra hoppy, so we're gonna give that a three. So let's write this down. Three on hops. Malt. Um. I'm going to have to give it a 4 because it wasn't bitter, but it also wasn't too sweet. Um, I could kind of taste it, but not really that much. All right, Personally, how did I like it on a uh, scale of 1 to 10 for flavor-wise? Let's try it. Oh, body is so much better than in the head a portion of it. Like... This portion of a beer is usually the most bitter, and this part usually has very little to no flavor. But right in here, that's where all the good stuff is. And that is what I have right here. I'm going to give that a six. Not perfect but not bad actually no a seven so seven um smoothness that shit here hmm it smoothed the drink down like just each time but i wouldn't go as far as to say chuggable because i could not chug it so i'm gonna have to say um on a scale of 1 to 5, I'll give that a 3 as well. Uh, I can hold a cap. Yes, that is most different, so it's a 3. Chugging, that's a 0. I keep forgetting to change that from 1 to a 0. Will I drink it again? Well, let's add everything up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Yes. Um... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. And that equals a maybe. It's unfortunate that a lot of these are maybes. This one's on the border because of certain things. But honestly, um, from my scale, I actually have to disagree with the point system on this one because I'd probably go back to this one again. Um, on even for if I was in the mood for IPA, this would be the top of my list. Um, so I usually ask you, please like this page or like this channel. It really helps me out. Um, subscribe for more.
And if you want to see more, I do all sorts of things all the time. Uh, gaming, vlogging, even come later this spring, I'm going to be doing some ghost hunting just for shits and giggles. Um, I do have a uh, specific vlog for um, people of a different faith. So, yeah, come see everything else. So, like I said, like, subscribe, question, comments, maybe a beer you would like me to, to review one of these times. Leave a comment. Awesome. Thank you. Have a great night. Y'all have fun now. Nah.